Welcome back to another video. <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing some flippers or fins if you are a little professional. <laughs> What's the difference between fins or flippers? They're the same thing. If you are like a deep sea diver or ocean swimmer, then you're probably gonna call them flippers. If you're a competitive swimmer, you're gonna call them fins. These are fins and you can see that they're really short. Some flippers, they can go up to here like this tall. And you see those scuba divers wearing them, right? This tall. So it varies the size of the flipper that you get. I find that these ones are a lot easier to carry and transport. All right, I can carry them around uh, in my bag a lot easier than the ones that are like this tall. Okay, so keep that in mind. And another thing is that you notice that these ones are a little bit loose for my feet. Okay, and that was my mistake. When you try to buy fins or flippers, always get one size smaller than your shoe size, okay? So if your shoe size is 10, go for a flipper size of nine because in water, everything expands. Why do we wear flippers or fins in the pool, okay? That's a good question. A lot of people think that wearing flippers is a necessity when it comes to swimming and I have to say, no, it's not really a necessity. Nine times out of 10, I'm not wearing flippers to the pool because one, I already know how to kick properly when it comes to front kicking and back kicking. If you're a newbie swimmer, you don't know how to kick properly with your feet. And that comes with front kicking and back kicking, okay? Sometimes you're doing some sort of abnormal kicking. And if you're just kicking alone, you feel like you're not going anywhere, that's when you're probably gonna need to put on some flippers because you need to adjust your feet so that you are moving forward without using your arms. Just your feet. And that's where flippers help. So you notice that when you wear the flippers, it extends this part of your foot, okay? So this part of your foot right here, it extends it all the way to here now. So that's why you got a lot more surface to grab the water and move, okay? But if you weren't wearing flippers, you would feel the same effect, okay? And like I said before, if you wanna kick properly, you have to pretend like you're wearing high heels. I'm kicking like this, whether or not I'm wearing flippers or not like this motion, okay? So it's a very little subtle motion here, right? My legs are pointed this way, and I'm just moving it like this, that's it. And the flippers help in grabbing more of the water. But if I wasn't wearing these, I'd be doing the same thing. Foot pointed forward, and I'm doing this. You see the difference? There is no difference. It's the same thing, okay? A lot of you are probably kicking like this, or like this, and you're not getting anywhere. Another thing is, when you try to wear the flippers, don't wear your flippers on deck, okay? Don't wear them on the pool deck like this. I've seen so many people trip and fall because these things are heavy, cumbersome, and, you, and they're just not made for walking on dry land, okay? So, as you can see, I put the flippers in the water first. Put the flippers on into the water first, and then you slip them on, okay? This is a lot easier. Just slip it on like this. That's it. Now, when you do your flipper session, you want to work on your front kicking, okay? So you saw me doing earlier, I was extending my arms out and I'm just kicking, okay? Now, if you're not good at this, then have a kickboard in front of you, hold it, and do the same thing, all right? But I don't need a kickboard in this example, so let's do one session, here we go. So the difference that I notice when I wear flippers is that 
I move about, I would say 25 to 30 percent faster than without wearing them. But the downside is that I feel the, the flipper's weight on my feet a lot more, okay? So I feel a lot, I feel about 25 to 30 percent heavier around my feet. So it's a lot like, how, I, how can I say? Moving with the flippers on is like moving in mud, okay? The water is not as light and easy to manipulate like this, okay? This is light and easy for me. But with flippers on, I feel a lot slower and sluggish. Like I'm moving through mud or quicksand. The motions of my feet are a lot slower and require a lot more muscle in order to move these flippers up and down. Here's another thing, or the reason why we wear flippers. Okay, not just for foot correction, but it's also for long distance swimming. So for example, if you were given the task of swimming, like say 500 meters, okay? 500 meters, that sounds crazy, right? You're doing like, Jesus Christ, like 20 laps worth of continuous swimming back and forth. How can you visualize that if you've never done it before. The easiest way to, to think backwards is to put on flippers, wear some hand paddles, maybe like a scuba mask if you want to, to make your life easier and just accomplish those 500 meters with all these gears on, like all this aid with you versus doing it alone and trying to just claw your way up to 500 meters. Like I said, the flippers help. Hand paddles help. A scuba mask, snorkel mask can help getting you towards that 500 meters first, right? You work backwards. And then once you've reached that 500 meters, then you can take apart your gear, right? Take apart the snorkel mask. Take apart the hand pedals. Take apart the flippers, all right? So whenever I do long distance swimming, if I'm gonna be swimming continuously for like an hour, back and forth, and I've never done it before, then I'm gonna wear flippers. Then I'm gonna wear hand paddles. Snorkel mask, who knows, okay? I don't need it, but some people do. And you've probably seen them at your pool. They have the snorkel mask, hand pedals, and the flipper combination. They're, they're working backwards, okay? In their minds, they haven't done long distance swimming. They're not familiar with 500 meters doing it from start to finish continuously. So that's where these things come in handy. And that's why you see people wearing them. The problem with these things is a lot of people rely on these. This is like their crutch. When it comes to swimming like they can't swim without these things on they can't swim without a hand paddle they can't swim without a wetsuit and i would say you've got to stop relying on gear in order for you to swim at the end of the day all we can rely on are is our hands and our feet and if we're lucky we have goggles nearby if you're in an emergency situation you don't have goggles around you you don't have flippers around you you don't have a wetsuit you don't have a bathing suit you don't have a swim cap what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just stand there and say, oh, I can't get in the water because I don't have my flippers with me. I can't save that person because I don't have my gear on. I can't swim because I didn't bring blah, 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 blah. Do you see what I mean? That's, that's your crutch that you're relying on. So stop relying on these things, okay? This, these things don't make you a better swimmer. You make yourself a better swimmer, okay? These things will help you on your journey, but there comes a time when you're gonna have to let them go. And like I said before and earlier, Nine times out of 10, I'm not wearing these at the pool. They can be used to help correct your feet position and they can help you visualize the swimming long distance continuously, all right? Getting over that hump of how do you swim 500 meters? How do you swim 1,000 meters continuously? You work backwards. Now here's another thing. Do not try to do flip turns with these things, okay? Don't try to do any fancy turns, okay? Why? Because when you think about it, when you do it, Turn, you're landing with your balls of your feet like this, okay? When you do a flip turn, boom, you land, boom, feet, balls of your feet. You don't land flat-footed like this. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I'm getting at now? So if you're wearing flippers on, if you land with the balls of your feet, your flipper is gonna smack right into this piece of concrete and it's gonna damage your flippers. That's one disadvantage to wearing flippers is you can't do flip turns or if you try to do flip turns, boom, you're gonna damage your flippers in no time and these things will break, they will snap. All right, so don't try to do flip turns, okay? You see that? It's unnatural for your flippers. 
Instead, you're just gonna grab the wall and you're gonna do just a regular Spider-Man turn like this. That's it, do you see that? Okay, flat-footed. That's the payoff, okay? You have to be flat-footed like this when you're doing swimming with your flippers on. So what are the strokes that you can practice with flippers on? Well, you can do front crawl or front kicking. You can do back crawl, back kicking. Can you do breaststroke? Not really, okay? Because you're, you're relying on this surface of your foot in order to do breaststroke with kick. And the flippers just get in the way. <laughs> so you can X breaststroke, but you can work on dolphin kick, butterfly if you want to. It does work, okay? Now, before you exit the water, like I said, don't wear these things on the pool deck, okay? So take them off in the water first. Pick them up like this. And there you go, and then you climb out of the pool. If you wanna pick up your pair of slippers or flippers, <laughs> Click the link below and you can get access to all the gear that I use in all my swimming videos. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll talk to you later, okay? See you later, bye.